coffee time and what a lovely morning it is too. The sun's uh, just broken through the clouds and it looks as if we're going to be okay up until about 11 o'clock. So for this vlog we've come down again um, to, uh, to look at the reds. There was a, a bit of roaring when we first uh, got here and we had a little explore around. Managed to uh, come across one that was, was lying up and, and then quite nicely for us decided to show and display himself and do a little bit more roaring. But apart from that they've been very um, spread out and uh, difficult to find. Again no hinds so we'll have a little look around. Uh, the rain is supposed to be coming in around about 11 o'clock. So we'll give it a go. Uh, but what do you think? Lovely day so far. Certainly beautiful, isn't mm -hmm. it? And lovely to be out. So yeah, give it a, a couple more hours. Um, yeah, and then see what comes. So the first stag we came across was this rather handsome chap, Denise. Really loved him. She tried to get some decent photographs, but it, the white um, it's a bit deceptive here, but for photography it was uh, pretty challenging. But again here we can see, uh, a bit like uh, a couple of weeks back, self-anointing, uh, getting ready uh, to, to find some eyes. Although, yeah, seem to be conspicuous uh, in their absence around this particular stag. Quite pleased to come across this fallow deer again. This uh, buck. Um, I've spent quite a few weeks um, invested a bit of time uh, with the red deer, and I think it's going to be time to sort of uh, concentrate maybe on the fallow, see if I can get uh, them in the rut, uh, and also the seeker deer. The seeker deer will be uh, again rutting, so. I might sort of still drop in uh, for the reds, see if I can get that elusive fight. Uh, but in the meantime, I think I might concentrate on the fallow uh, and again the seeker. Now the seeker I think are gonna be a little bit more difficult to find, but this particular chap here just looks really handsome. So it appears to be uh, two two stags that have the the bulk of the hinds. He's a big stag. He's got his hinds grouped 
but the amount of work he must have to put in to keep hold of them. So there's one thing to get the hinds and there's another thing to keep hold of them. And you can see what I like about this shot and some of the other shots I get a little bit later is the stags in waiting at the back there. And you can imagine that he's having to protect his hinds as it were 24 seven, seven days a week. The amount of effort that must he must put in to doing that. And uh, the moment he lies down, they're, they're sensing that uh, there's an opportunity here and they come, come forward and begrudgingly he has to assert his dominance. And I must admit, one part of me thought, mm, could be a fight. Unfortunately, uh, no fight this time. I think I'm going to have to invest quite a bit of time to to be able to get that um, that fortunate piece of of dream footage. But yeah, it's still lovely to see them. So we worked our way back to the car and uh, on the heath again was this this singular um, stag again anointing himself but what you can see is the the challenge of the wind it really did pick up and 
and uh, well made the filming a little bit uh, difficult but uh, also I can imagine uh, for them it was a bit of a challenge. So just as we were coming around the, the, the edge of the heath, noticed uh, the other uh, large dominant stag, or the main dominant stag, with his with his hinds, right in the middle of the heath. And I'm a bit reticent to, to to walk across the centre of the heath. I don't mind filming from from the edge, from the tree line, but he was just too far into the middle. So yeah, I decided to to pass. I filmed him a couple of weeks ago. Got some good footage, so that was fine for me and Denise. Denise was with me, she didn't, she didn't want to disturb them. So we've put a few of Denise's images here, right at the end of the video. So as usual, hope you like it and subscribe. And as always, look forward to see you in the next one.